library. Hard to believe that singing she-devil would ever crack a book. That puta wants to see if we have the balls to follow her. Well, I think I can <clears throat> keep it up. Ah, TMI, Johnson. Look alive. We've got company. Danger in the stacks, G. These baddies can teleport. Look at the cracks in those plugs. They're just begging to get blasted to pieces. She's going to lead us straight to Paula. Why would the hell monkeys bother building a library? Have you forgotten about those storybooks we found? Demons love a well-spun tale every bit as much as humans. So what is your favorite demon story? Oh, that's easy. The Unbreakable Huntress. I bet she'd be fun in the sack if she weren't so keen on eviscerating us. Just saying. Hmm. 
We need to find a way over to the other balcony. I think we could use the light shot to rearrange those shelves and make a bridge. Where was I? Ah, yes. The Huntress had insulted the Lord of the Dead, and now his eyes glowed. Some say from rage, others from passion. You are bolder than the other Hunters, he said, but even a woman's pride can be broken. There was a flash of steel and a spray of red as both the Huntress's arms tumbled from her body. She screamed, tears welled up in her eyes. Never had she known such pain. But she would not be deterred, and continued walking toward her adversary. With a devilish grin, the Lord of the Dead lopped off the Huntress's legs one at a time. Thwoop! Thwoop! Again she screamed in pain as her torso flopped onto the floor. She could feel his breath as he hovered over her. I could take you right here and now. <laughs> the fists on her severed arms clenched in resistance. Through her tears, she replied, you might take me, but you will never have me.
Shock jobs. Blow up the pumps! Uh, 